Well, as you're stepping out the door on this Sunday morning, you can say hello to the humidity. Good morning, everybody. I'm student meteorologist Tyler Allender. The same soupy air mass continues for the weekend, and that means showers and thunderstorms continue in your forecast. Decent rain chances continue through most of the upcoming work week. And again, that summertime, late July humidity continues for the next several days and probably weeks as well. Currently out there right now, it's 79 degrees in Tallahassee, giving you we have a 74 degree dew point, giving you 85% humidity. It's 84 degrees already in Valdosta. You know it's going to be a hot day and hopefully we'll get some showers and thunderstorms to cool us off in certain spots later this afternoon. I think there's a pretty good bet that that's going to happen as we go into the afternoon hours. Region wide temperatures are right around 80 degrees, 80 in Dothan, 79 up in Albany, 8, uh, 79 in Homerville. Then off to the west, 82 in Apalachicola. So overall fairly uniform temperatures, warm, sticky temperatures as we're going into the day today. And that's already popping up some showers. Speaking of Apalachicola, we have some storms off to the coastline there down toward Port St. Joe. Showers and thunderstorms popping up. And this is going to be the trend as we go through the afternoon hours. It's all because of a trough of low pressure that's moving through portions of the southeast just kind of hanging out over much of the deep south, causing some showers and thunderstorms yesterday and even during the overnight hours of the Carolinas region. And that's going to be kind of our trigger mechanism for some showers and thunderstorms today. So about a 50-50 shot of seeing those showers and thunderstorms. And taking a look at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere, this is the water vapor imagery. And the darker colors indicate more moisture in the mid and upper levels. We also have sufficient moisture not just at the ground but above our heads and so I think that's why we also have a good shot of seeing some pretty decent rain chances going into today and perhaps the next few days you can see a pretty vigorous area of showers and thunderstorms in the central plains it's all part of that trough and over the next couple of days that's going to continue to the energy is going to continue to ride along that trough for the next few days giving us some pretty steady rain chances going into the work week. But for the next couple of days here at home, we'll see the sea breeze thunderstorms developing. So you know the late afternoon, early evening showers and thunderstorms popping up. The Futurecast model showing a storm late this evening right around Tallahassee. So we'll see those hit and miss summertime variety showers and thunderstorms. Monday, more of the same scattered showers and thunderstorms. Not everybody is going to get wet, but certainly some of us will cool off from some of Mother Nature's natural air conditioning. And Tuesday, more of the same. Sounds like a broken record, I know. But if you're going out in the water today, not too bad. Just watch out for those showers and thunderstorms. Good conditions otherwise. Seas one to two feet. Basin in the water is a smooth to light chop. But of course, remember to uh, lather on the sunscreen because it is still summertime here in the Big Bend region. Tonight, today, showers and thunderstorms, warm and muggy conditions. Low 90s, we'll say, 50-50 shot of the rain. Tonight, the showers will be tapering off, especially around sunset or so. Mild and humid conditions continue. Maybe some fog again in the morning hours, just like we saw today. Then as we go into Monday and Tuesday, a copy and paste forecast, basically Monday and Tuesday, highs right around 93 degrees, just like Sunday. Hey, Wednesday, maybe a 60% chance of rain, but overall, not much of a variety show going all the way through the week. 50 to 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, a little bit above normal for this time of year.